Did they stitch you up? Yeah, yeah. I, honestly, I don't know. It was, yeah, it was, it was a good cut. So, was just, like I said, it was, I dodged the bullet in this fifth inning. So, um, you know, obviously, the skate cuts are scary and kind of dramatic, and, and especially when you know it's happened. So, um, you know, we just take precautions. I know, uh, you know, guys are wearing Kevlar. You, you, you find places where they get you and you fix yourself. So, it's just nice to be back. By. Does it have you sort of just reevaluating from a protection standpoint what you've been using, what you maybe you want to use in the future? Like, is it, does that come up for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely does. You try and protect yourself as best you can. I mean, um, that's a spot where I know a few guys have been cut, and um, I've kind of made some changes to my gear just to try and fix that. So, um, yeah, I mean, anything you can prevent to try and you know play and be healthy into the lineup, you, you do. Are we headed towards neck guards? I know a couple guys with the Canadians wore them yeah. in practice. Like I know a few guys have worn them for sure. Um, you know, I think it's up to the individual. Um, you know, I think obviously it's a fast game, and, and if there's a way that I know Gordy found a way to, you know, uh, put it into his gear so that it's really not interfering with anything. So, um, you know, there's obviously ways you can do that, and I'm sure um, I know the league's talked about it. I know individuals have talked about it. They've given you the open space to do it, and, and you know, whatever whatever guys want to do to feel safe out there is important. How aware are you of kind of the, you know, what the other team has been going through, the new coach bounce, all that stuff? Like, there's, there's a lot going on here, and this is an attentive group? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a hungry group. They, I've been through that. I've been there and had coaching changes. I've had, I know how it can be. Uh, you know, I know that they're going to be at their best tonight, and they've got a good hockey team. So, I mean, we should be hungry, too. We've lost our last couple, too, and um, obviously this is a division matchup. So, um, you, you know what's going on in the league, but you're, you're more so just focused on your individual team and, and what we need to do. So, um, you know, we need these two points just as bad as they do. Expectations are high for you guys considering what you guys did last year. I guess. Is that is it just a matter of trying to find your game, find your groove? And yeah, I mean we've 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 had games that we've played well and we've we've lost. We haven't found we've maybe found one game where we've haven't played our best and found a way to win. I like to think that over a season those games equal out, but um, <clears throat> just the last couple we haven't been on our best. So we need you know more importantly we need to find our game and get back to where we know that we can play. And, um, you know, we've been a group from, I mean, I hate going back to last year, but this year um, we're a group that wins by committee. We, we win by playing four lines. We win by working hard and, and, and outworking you, and, and that's what we need to do tonight. So we just got to get back to our foundation.